guys, it's Michael Valentino from Crusader Caravans in Campbellfield, Victoria. Today I'm going to take you through one of Crusader's hybrids, the Chameleon range. Featuring today is the Action SV, complete with combination shower and toilet, single beds that transforms to a double, a side kitchen, a shower toilet combination, and a heap of little extras packed away just like external speakers and TV ready to go. So before we jump inside and have a look at how tiny this little unit is, we've got the outside. So featuring on the outside, we have a 6 inch A-frame that runs all the way back to the wheels, 2.2 ton carrying weight on this uh, leaf spring roller rocker suspension featuring 15 inch 205s on a 12 inch brake. We have an Elko front assist wind up 400 kilo rated jockey wheel, chain hangers as per normal Intel engineering chassis. The Intel engineering chassis are an Australian made, Australian steel sourced 100% chassis. Three millimeters built in a jig so it's millimeter perfect and it's 450 MPA grade of steel, which means to the common man, it's incredibly strong, incredibly light and not that flexible. So it is perfect for semi off-road and off-road units. This particular unit is a semi off-road. It's gonna get you to dirt road, patches of corrugation. But as far as seeing Australia in a compact 12 foot caravan tearing just over 1200 kilos, being perfectly tollable for something like a Mazda 6 or something like a Falcon that has 2.3 ton limited towing, these things here are an absolute weapon of a van and a popular van within the Crusader range. 15 inch spare tire, complete with Intel engineering brackets, makes it look a little bit cool there. We've got a 1.9 kilo gas bottle on the front, complete with regulator to keep the pressure down. We have a fully insulated composite panel complete whole van, no timber at all other than the furniture inside which is a 16 millimeter CAD cut CNC built furniture system. It's fully insulated, 32 mil front, 32 mil roof, 32 mil side, 32 mil floor, fully insulated. Not gonna get cold, you're not gonna get hot. This little unit here, as far as Australian technology, it is tenfold ahead of anything you've seen, any hybrid. The ceiling height inside when we get in, you'll just be blown away. But before we get there, we have outside cooking facility and we have inside cooking facility as well. Swift appliance, we have a slide out al fresco slide out kitchen. We have a two burner grill here to be able to do our bacon and eggs or steaks or whatever you're up for in the morning. We have our sink with hot, cold, and gas taps here underneath it. Quick and easy release. We just unscrew these, pop this out, pull it around, slide the kitchen back in, and we're ready to cook for another day. And because it's all sealed in here, we're not gonna get that smell up through the uh, tunnel boot underneath the beds, which is the single beds here. Access, we have storage all underneath the furniture wheel well in there. Phoebe will show you here, heaps of storage. We have awning brackets. We have a 12 volt cigarette lighter to be able to plug fairy lights or 12 volt compressors to re-pump the tires, whatever you're up for. Checker plate wheel spats, added strength, but it, gee, it looks cool. Outside speakers, so as far as flexibility and as far as comfortability, you still have Bluetooth connectivity on that radio. Our yeah. suspension here, we've got a Roller Rocker Alco 12 inch brake, semi off road, 15 inch, 205 wheel and tire. This is gonna get you across corrugations, across semi off road terrain, across those dirt road tracks that you're gonna to wanna to get to, providing the vehicle can go there, of course. But this van is gonna be able to see you exactly where you wanna go, up to Northern Territory, up to Darwin, up to Perth. These are the areas that these little units are gonna be able to get you to. They're an absolute weapon of a uh, unit. And the director of Crusade himself even built and owned one of these vans for over 12 months, and I believe he still has it. Just here, we've got our awning. This is a rollout Dometic awning. Very easy to operate, very easy to put out. We just pull the arms here, the arms retract, we put the arms away, fold it away, takes you about a minute or two to assemble, rolls back to a compact unit on the van, comes with and can get any flat kits, roof rafters, pull out verandas, there's a heap of extras you can get with these, sky's the limit, but this comes standard just as it is, easy to use, comes back to the van, nice and easy. We have here on the outside a Moby Cool Dometic window. No wind outs, no pop outs, pull up, it's done. That is the beautiful thing about the Chameleon Vans. The Dometic double glazed window are perfectly insulated, very well easy and uh, very easy to use, very well built and Dometic stand by them tenfold. So they're an easy to operate unit. Outside light here on the side, outside light on the back here. Entry is at the back, but we won't show you just yet. We'll show you around first. We have a crim safe tri-lock security screen door. Not a two-way door, nice and easy to use. One lock, just like a caravan door. This van has bought the best of the best Australian made caravan products to a hybrid camper market. And you'll see why inside. Working our way here, we have our toilet cassette. 
the Thetford toilet set just pulls out like so. It's about 20 odd liters. Fill this guy up, empty him nice and easy. No sludge tank, just run straight to it. As far as water capacity, we have two 65 liter fresh water tanks, individually fillable of course. We have 15 amp power plug just here, so you plug it in right there with circuit breakers underneath here. Mains pressure water filler, so you go to a caravan park, you pop that there, pop your mains power lead just there. Checker plate wheel spats, little bit of flair, little bit of toughness, but does the trick. Fridge vent just here for the compressor fridge and radio aerial up. Two, 90, uh, two 65 litre water filler caps just here. A 28 litre Swift hot water service, Australian made appliance, just like the cooktop, just like the pull out alfresco kitchen. These products here are stainless steel. They're Australian made, there's no anode, there's no um, changing necessary. You just run it, gas or 240 volt, works an absolute treat. Storage, just like on the door side, we have nearly 900 wide storage here next to the side out kitchen. Kitchen comes back, we can still store either left and right of it, which is just fantastic. PM200 battery management system, controls your solar, controls your battery charger, controls all aspects of your caravanning lifestyle with a breakaway system just here in case the caravan in the car and an event of emergency detaches, that'll automatically activate. Uh, nice and easy, but forget about him, we've got a jack just to the side to be able to change any wheels if necessary for some of that more off-road terrain. Just on the front here, we've optioned it up with a provisional bike rack carrier. So for Yama or Tule or Grip Sport bike rack, plonk straight on the top, nice and easy, just over the top of the gas bottle. It's an adventurer's van, so sky's the limit. You can go wherever you want to go with it. This van strength is so easy. You can mount racks to it. You can hang surfboards, you can hang kayaks. It is so easy to use, so easy to be able to make it your van. The transformation, and that's why it's called the Chameleon, you can transform these vans to your lifestyle. It suits to so many people, skateboarders, surfers, rock climbers, man and pop, whoever it may be, it is so easy to be able to utilize the Chameleons for a first time caravan, a second time, even fifth time caravaners who just go, you know what, I'm over the big vans, I want something nice, easy, compact, can back it back, his and hers, easy to take away trip. Let's jump inside and have a look. So, we have single beds, inner spring mattresses underneath these duvets just here. We have a little table that pulls all the way out and these two beds can come together. We'll give you a snapshot of that after. But we have Sirocco fans with three stage cooling. We have three, six, nine, 12. We have timers. You go to sleep, fall asleep. This will turn off in three to six to nine to 12 hours, depending on what setting you put it at. Bed head, keeps it nice and luxury. Now, one thing that's really important, the van tapers down here. I'm about 165 centimeters or so, and this is really quite comfortable for me. But as I walk around this area, the standardized roof height underneath that air con, there's a heap of room. People absolutely love these who come from a hybrid market who expect that they're not gonna be able to stand up, they're not gonna be able to get into the van and just enjoy it. They're gonna to have to pop out and pop this and it's draining and we can't. These vans eliminate all of that. It is a game-changing market. Now, one thing I wanna stress, Australian-made panels. They're imported from Europe. They're, built, they're put on a CNC machine here. We cut them to size, we cut them to spec, we bring them to the Crusader factory. They're assembled by Australian workers completely. They're assembled and built by Australian workers completely. All infrastructure, all chassis, all walls, all furniture, everything is built here in Australia from scratch. Nothing in a shipping container, everything comes as a raw product and we build it from the ground up. And that is really important. Strength wise, these things cop a pack of heat. It is hail proof. The material they use is a fully insulated composite panel. Make no mistake, just because it's small, just because it's cheap, doesn't mean that it is built like that. It is built with Italian, European, customization, German engineering involved completely. And these things here are revolutionizing the caravan industry. I'll show you some of the gizmos. So what we've got here is we've got our little fridge. So we have our fridge. This is a, a compressor fridge, fridge freezer. It's approximately 95 liters from Dometic. This is currently nice and cold in here. Wire shelving. And that's just running purely off the battery. So it's been out in the yard. It's been sitting with the sun, nice and charged. That's just running, churning along. Bluetooth NCE radio, beautiful to use. What we've got, we've got here, electric hot water, gas hot water, air conditioning switch, 
There's a Sparrow Ibis air conditioner in this unit. It's a true reverse cycle air conditioning unit. It heats, it cools, doesn't clunk in, doesn't clunk out. It is a beautiful to use unit. Works just off of 240 and will work with a 2 kVA generator as well. External speakers, inside, outside. Wireless lighting. So in the Chameleon, there is a wireless lighting system. You press a remote, it fires that light on. You press another remote, it comes on there. You wanna be able to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night, press the remote. There's two remotes that come with the unit that you can just turn on, turn off very, very easily. We have double power points throughout the caravan as well. Now, just because the van's only 12 feet, it doesn't mean that you lose storage. There is a heap of overhead cupboards in this unit, all the way back, complete with range hood as well. Now, just because it is a 12 foot caravan, and it's on the cheaper side because it's an entry level and a little bit smaller as well as a hybrid, it doesn't mean we cut corners. The Crusader range still features 60 Newton meter gas struts. It features full piano hinging. So this van's gonna be able to handle an absolute whopping of a time. If you go on a semi off-road uh, terrain, this thing's still gonna absolutely churn along and do a very, very good job of it. You'll be way impressed with it. We've got two burner cooktop from Dometic. Very easy to use. We have large sinks. Some of these sinks are bigger than most caravanners get. So we have our large flick mixer sink. We've got our range hood light, our three stage fan system from our range hood. We have dust pressure hatch. We're driving into dusty roads. You pop that up, it sucks the air in, pressurizes the cabin. Uh, we know that some of these vans obviously get to some tighter terrain, some dustier terrain that most people haven't seen before. So that there is gonna keep it completely dust proof. And you still get, surprisingly enough, they've managed to fit in drawers. And not just drawers, but metal sided drawers with proper nylon runners in a CAD CNC built furniture system. So just in the corner here, the Chameleon features a shower toilet combination complete with Thetford toilet. So we'll have a look at him. We'll jump inside. We've got an adjustable shower head here with water saving features. We have a flick mixer tap, braided hose. We have an extraction and input fan as well for when we're showering. So the hot air be able to straight out with LED strip lighting. An overhead cupboard that's shielded by a little wet curtain just here. We have a Thetford toilet with chemicals complete. Up against the back, elegant flooring from Crusader that's actually a custom shower floor in order to be able to fit in the chameleon. So to spend a bit of time thinking about this, this unit here allows for that comfort. It allows nice room around the toilet. It allows a heap of room in the ensuite as well. As far as a wet area is concerned, most caravans don't have a room that is as large as this. It is absolutely awesome to be able to see that feature within a van this small. We'll give him a close. And from the inside here, again, that crim safe door with block out blinds, just like so. The Chameleons come in a variety of ranges. They come in a full off-road unit called the Liberty SV. They come in the Action SV. They even come with bunks tucked up the corner for mum and dad that you can put the two beds together nice and easy. If you have any questions at all, or you'd like to be able to book a VIP appointment to come and visit us and see our brand new Chameleon Action SV, please give us a call on 03 9359 2938. Alternatively, email us at sales at crusadermelbourne.com or alternatively, head to the website for more information, www.crusadercaravansmelbourne.com.au. If you'd like to see more, like and subscribe, and we'll see you soon. Thank you.